Hi, it's Graeme here at Sunny Felix Day. Enjoying being here on the beach, uh, hearing the waves lapping, seeing the boats. Being here reminds me of Jesus calling his first disciples. He comes up to these fishermen in their boats and says, come and follow me and I'll teach you how to fish for people. They're completely unsuspecting, they're minding their own business, and Jesus calls them to this amazing adventure. Is that what Christianity looks like for us? Are we following Jesus on a grand adventure? Do we know what it is to follow him sacrificially? Do we know what it is to leave things behind that we might follow him on this amazing adventure that he calls us to? As we listen to these gentle waves lapping, it's, this is the picture for me of what waves are like uh, as I come to the seaside. Uh, but waves can also be powerful and destructive. We see behind us uh, the signs of erosion. We can see the difference that waves can make. At our Wave of Prayer gatherings last year, we asked you to share with us what it was that you felt God was saying to you. And one of the dominant messages that came back was this idea of God eroding things, God washing away things uh, amongst us that were not of him. How can we do that? How can we, like those first disciples, become willing to let go of things, to leave things behind, and to move forward following Jesus? When God wants to do a new thing, we need to stop trying to hold on to the uh, old thing and what that looks like. That doesn't mean we're anti-tradition. Some tradition is good and we cling and we hold on to that. But there are things that we need to let go of. And when God has washed things away, what will we allow him to build in that place? So what are the things that God wants to wash away? So please join us for the Wave of Prayer. It begins on Sunday the 22nd of September and we'll be praying throughout that week up to the EBA gathering on the 28th of September. Uh, join a gathering, plan your own, it's completely up to you. Thanks.